Hey, what's up everybody? We are back today out in the underdark with Baldur's Gate 3 talking about how you easily, no nonsense, activate the Arcane Tower. I'm going to show you a super easy way to get it done. So where we are at right now is right out in front of the entrance to the Arcane Tower in between the two turrets. Okay, once you get out here, I've got Gale here. I'm going to use him as the example because he has eight strength. Okay, he has the least jump range of anybody. Not that there's not a jump ring and a jump spell and a jump whatever. You don't need any of that nonsense. Just come over here with Gale and get right here in this corner. From this point, you should be able to jump over onto this mushroom right on the edge. Okay, it's not going to give you the full jump over here, but it's going to be just enough for you to hit the edge. And when you get here, you want to come down here. And from here, get to the edge. And you want to jump down over here. Right, and then you're going to come down here, right to the edge, as far as you can go. Pop over here. And once you're here, you're going to come down here. Now, this jump, you might take one damage from it. Nope, there we go. There's a spot you can go to you don't take damage. And you're just making your way down around the back side of the tower, basically. All right, so at this point now, if you want to get particular about this, you can pop a feather fall scroll or cast it on yourself or you can fly or I, I don't know. But before you do any of that, save your game. Okay, the reason you want to save your game is when you get down to the bottom, you're going to need to make a perception check and you need to pass that perception check under certain circumstances, which I'll explain when we get down there. But anyways, you want to make sure you save your game and then jump down here. We're going to take a little bit of damage because I'm not popping Featherfall just for this nonsense. And then when you get right in here is when it's going to make you make the perception check and Gale's probably going to fail. Oh, he succeeded. It's a miracle. Okay, when you succeed at the perception check, it's going to reveal this hole in the ground. Now, interacting with these is... Um, very specific in Baldur's Gate 3. So there are two ways to get into the tower. If you walk around the back here, there's a door that is a level 15 locked door. Anybody at this point in the game that has a sufficient enough amount of dexterity to be in your party will be able to open this door. Or, you know, you could use just a level 2 knock spell and that will open the door. You can see 100% chance, right? So you could use a level two knock, that'll get you in there. If you don't want to burn a spell, if you have a druid with you, a druid can wild shape into a small animal and get into this hole here. He can just go right in the hole. If you have a mage or someone else who can cast the cantrip mage hand, i.e. if you have like a, a high elf whatever, like a high elf ranger or something, something like that, if you have the cantrip range hand or mage hand, all you have to do is cast that. It'll summon it. And then you can select the mage hand and tell it to go into the hole here. If we can get the hole selected, uh, the camera is fun. And it just pops into the tower. You can have it come over to the door and it will open the door for you. You didn't need any spells. You didn't need to shape shift. You're good. So you can just pop that open. And then what you want to do is come down here. That's the getting in there part. So there's a lot of different ways to get in there. Oh, the other thing you can do, you can use gaseous form, which is a level three spell, which I'm not casting to just, just get through a door, but it's another option. You want to come over here and grab the Susser Bloom. And you're going to bring it into the tower and around to this side. You're going to interact with the power generator and you're going to stick the Susser Bloom in the power generator to combine. And that is going to activate the tower. And in so doing, it's going to turn off all the arcane turrets, especially the ones on the first floor that are right as you enter the arcane tower through the window or through the doors or however you get in there. So super simple way 
to just go down the side. It t- I think we took, what, three damage. We cast one cantrip, and we were inside. So that's with the mage. But as I said, with the druid, you can get in there with wild shape. Anybody that's got sufficient dexterity to pick a lock or just a level two knock spell will get you in there. So any of those will work. Hopefully this helped you sort it out in your own game. If it did, I sure would appreciate a like on the video or a sub on the channel. And as always, thanks for watching, guys. Take care.